guys, <coughs> Shadow 7201 here, and uh, well, for today's episode, we are actually going to be talking about you guys. We're going to be analyzing fandom and uh, different types of fans and uh, how they're categorized, as well as the subcategories. So. Let's get started, shall we? Alright, now before we categorize the different types of bronies in the fandom, we have to ask ourselves, just what is a brony? Well, let's go find that out, shall we? Let's find out, shall we? Hold on. Ah, here it is. A brony. Any person or persons between the ages of 15 to 35 who enjoys watching the television series My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. <coughs> Female followers of the show may also be referenced as Pega Sisters. There you have it. Alright, now that we know that, there is another question that we must ask ourselves. And that is just how many different types of bronies are out there? Well, there are five different types of bronies, each one more impressive than the last. Now, the first brony that we're introduced in the fandom <coughs> is the light brony, also known as the newcomer. Well, they are the newcomer. They have either seen or watched the show and like it. <coughs> Generally, they don't take mu they don't take part in much of the fandom. However, they do partake in chat rooms, they will comment on videos on YouTube and as well as PMVs, <coughs> and uh, even partake in looking at deviant at uh, deviant art pictures and comment on them as well. Now, after the light brony, there is the average brony. <coughs> Generally the average brony will attend meetups, they will cosplay, they will set up small PMVs, they will create a YouTube account and actually download some episodes of MLP for other bronies to view. They will talk about the show outside of chat rooms and meetups. And we'll usually have a small collection of MLP related mem memorabilia, such as the brushables and even small figurines and other general merchandise will follow. Now, the heavy brony. The heavy brony usually dedicates most of their day, well, most of the time from their day is towards ponies. <coughs> Some create fanfics, others create fan art. They also constantly visit pony websites like Equestria Daily and Brony State. Uh, they can be someone who regularly visits Brony chat rooms, creates videos, fan art, um, fanfics joins role plays online involving ponies, has seen all the episodes at least twice. So, yeah. Now, the Super Bronies. These guys have a lot in common with the Heavy Bronies, with one exception. They are heavily involved in the fandom. And they actually become pretty famous through it. Normally, they're the ones who 
moderate uh, pony chat rooms. They uh, create the pony websites like Equestria Daily and Brony State. They uh, organize or attend several. They uh, organize or attend meetups, and sometimes they will even host panels for the cons. The final class of bronies that we see in the fandom are the uber bronies. Now, unlike the others, this is not. Well, this is not a title that can be gained through progression in the fandom. This has to be earned, it has to be given by the fans. <clears throat> so, just who is an uber brony? Well, basically an uber brony is someone who is actually involved in the show. So, people like Lauren Faust, Tara Strong, M.A. Larson, James Wooten, basically anybody who winds up on the list of credits at the end of the show. <clears throat> so, if you want to become an uber brony, you got to get on the show. Now, there are subcategories, three to be exact. There are <clears throat> the creators, moderators, and hipsters. Now, creators are the ones who are responsible for the artwork, the music, the videos, such as the one that you're seeing. Moderators are the ones who basically create chat rooms, they create the websites. They're the ones that basically dictate um, where the fandom is going, uh, what's happening in it. Finally, the hipsters. <coughs> Well, they're the ones that actually help help us get our reputations. They're the ones that ensure that a lot of people tend to like us. And, well, all three of these subcategories can actually fall under uh, anywhere from the average brony to the super brony. Although most tend to be in the heavy category. <clears throat> I would say that it's very rare for anybody to become, well, for anybody to become a moderator or a creator and a hipster if they're new to the fandom, simply because they don't know that much about the fandom. So... With that, I will end this video. I want to thank you guys for tuning in. And actually, I want you guys to stay tuned to my channel because this week I actually plan on uploading every single episode of MLP onto my profile so that you guys can watch you know sort of my gift to you guys so this is shadow 7201 my little pony my little pony what is friendship all about my little pony my little pony friendship is